today we're taking a look at some beginner drills that we can do with a training partner to build coordination, timing, and a little bit of sense of range. These three kind of attributes are very critical when you're building your skills in Kali, especially in the beginning. Coordination, timing, and range. Okay, so we're gonna use two basic drills and then I'm gonna give you a mega drill at the end. So make sure you're sticking around with me so you know the whole training progression right here. Let's kick into our first drill. So do me a quick favor and do yourself a favor. Make sure to say hi to Chris in the comments below and say thank you to Chris for helping us out in today's video so we can bring this lesson to you. Chris is out here in beautiful St. Augustine, Florida, where uh, one of our college center chapters are, right here in St. Augustine. So if you're ever in the Northeast Florida area, he's the guy to train with, all right? So say hi to him and a thank you to him down in the comments. So our first drill, very basic. If you've been on the channel for a while now, you've seen these strikes. We have our one and our two. We're gonna make this big X. But we're gonna work some coordination and some timing with the training partner. So from here, we're gonna match our sticks and we're gonna match the strikes. We want them to make contact right on the, what we call the center line, right in the middle of us. And then we're gonna follow through. Same thing on the backhand. It should make contact right on the center, not over to the side, not over to the other side, right in the middle. Okay, so now we're learning what's called equal timing. Learn this, trust me. And then we're gonna continue that. So one and two, one, and two, just start off nice and easy, and then you can eventually start going faster and more power. And don't worry about if you break any sticks, just head over to colliecenter.com and you can order new ones at our store right over there. All right, so right here, one. Here's that two, one, two. If you have the same pair of sticks for eight years, 10 years, two decades, you're not training, my friend, okay? So you wanna work this out. Then we can start to speed it up as you're getting more comfortable and more familiar with it. And that coordination is building. All right? So that's the basics right there. Drill number two. We're gonna work some horizontal strikes. We're gonna work some of those fluid strikes that we were just doing, and we're gonna add in a broken strike. So our high, low, high looks like this. We're going all the, all the way through on top, and then we're gonna go broken on the bottom, and then all the way through on top. So the first drill, we had two beats. The second drill, we have three beats. So we have one, two, three. Or just like the name, high, low, and high. Right there, okay? Practice that. Get drill number two down, and then let's put them together for drill number three. And there's two parts to drill number three, so stick with me here. The third drill, we're just gonna combine both of these drills. We're gonna do six strikes on the first drill, and then the three strikes on the second drill. So it looks like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then high, low, high back right to the top. So you gotta pay attention here, don't lose count. I can see Chris has his concentration face on right now, <laughs> so he doesn't you know, either go above or less than six. I lost count. Right here. I know, I just did. <laughs> right? And you want to work this out because it's going to work a lot of different focus and you're also gaining a lot of other attributes where you're starting to watch your opponent, you're watching the flow, you're looking at the weapon and you're looking for when the lines change, when the drill and when it's time to change. So you're actually developing a lot with this basic drill right here. And you can always switch it out and go for the hand. Part B to the third drill we're combining is we're gonna move around a little bit. Right? This is gonna try to attempt to confuse the upper body. In the beginning, you might lose track of what your upper body should be doing. 
And we want to have this confusion because we need to be building everything to work as a unit and we want to make sure we're able to build the endurance, the stamina of that focus. All right, so we're going to move around a little bit. I'm just going to I'm going to start it off. I'm going to push Chris a little bit. 1 2 3 4 5 6 and then we're in that high low high. And then maybe he'll push me around a little bit. He'll move me back. Okay, we can kind of circle around with it a little bit. Okay, and we just kind of play. We're both kind of moving in. We're both trying to move out. But it's just, this is the way to get these coordination drills to come more alive. Look, we, could, we, we don't even have to make contact. Then we go back into contact. Maybe we miss one or two, whatever. Right? It's really not about the contact. It's about coordinating the strikes, coordinating the timing, paying attention to the range, making the adjustments, seeing what is going on, and being able to build the stamina to maintain all of that. So play out with these different drills. Try them out. Get a partner. Grab the kids. Grab the wife or the husband, the friend, the cousin. Get them off the couch. Go out to a beautiful park like this with your pairs of sticks and go train and try out this drill. And it's a great place for you to begin your Kali training. And then if you enjoy this and you're having fun in these beautiful places, head over to KaliCenter.com. Go check out our online school. I have the link down in the description below. And uh, maybe we'll see you on over there to further your Kali journey with us. All right, thanks so much. Thank Chris down in the comments as well, and we'll catch you guys back here next time. Right? We're gonna get back to training.